Now, Expedition 40 began on board the International Space Station in mid-May. It runs through mid-September when uh, Swanson, Skvartsov, and Artemyev have returned home, which makes this roughly the midpoint of this increment. And today we get an update on the science of this mission from Yuri Gunart Ramirez, who is the Expedition 40 lead increment scientist. Good morning. Half halfway through this increment, has there been a science highlight so far? Good morning, uh, Pat. Thank you for having me again. Uh, we have had uh, the initiation of uh, Expedition 40 with you know, tumult of activities. Uh, SpaceX 3 was completing its mission, uh, and we wrapped up all of the crossover science that uh, took place during that uh, mission. Mm -hmm. And after that uh, was completed, we were able to engage uh, in the completion of several, and initiation and completion of several of, of the experiments that arrived. Uh, like uh, Opals, for example, on the external platform uh, side of the house, we uh, were able to finish all the checkout, activation, commissioning type of activities and uh, successfully transmitted uh, a data uh, set uh, in a video, a definition video, from the station via laser. Right. And uh, that was very exciting to see that the technology worked uh, really well. Uh, the investigation will continue uh, to understand better uh, the characterization of the atmosphere and how that interferes with the laser communication. And uh, But it, it certainly is opening up uh, our ability to transmit m bigger and larger types of files in a much more uh, fast time. Um, I mentioned earlier uh, in the program today the work with an experiment called Force Shoes, and this has just gotten started in, in the last couple of days. What is that about? What are the crew members doing here? That's right. Um, we have uh, several countermeasure exercise devices on station to keep the uh, crew's health, as, as most uh, everybody is aware. Uh, in microgravity, you, the body suffers a, a toll by not having that constant pull of the gravity, right. so we have to work very hard at maintaining that, um, that muscle mass. In, in the bone atrophy prevention. So one of the exercise devices that we have on board is ARED. And one of the uh, pieces that we're, we've been missing is being able to correlate the data of the force that is being uh, impacted as the crew members uh, perform the exercises. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, as you mentioned earlier, we, we will be able to take this data and analyze it and be able to come up with a much more customized workout for the crew members. Uh, which has uh, a range of applications down here on, on Earth as well for, for folks that may need a, a, a very specific set of, of exercise uh, and, devices. And they're going to be wearing these shoes that are, are somehow helping to measure the forces that are being imparted up toward them. That's correct. Yeah. That's exactly how it works. And they'll collect the data, transmit it um, down for the, the community to review. They will go through a range of, of um, pound force um, measurements and, and try to characterize how the ARED is um, uh, impacting that, that, imparting that load. There's also a new uh, experiment that's, I believe, coming up on the Cygnus vehicle uh, next week that has to do with the clothes the crew members wear. That's right. Um, you, you know, one of the questions that people may, may or may not think about is we don't really have a good way of doing laundry on space. We have no way of doing laundry. Uh, there's no washing machine, right? Uh, once you wear an apparel and it's it's worn to the very end, um, you have to dispose of it. And there's a, a lot of uh, up mass cargo that comes up um, that we, we dedicate to be able to have uh, the, the clothes for the, the crew members. Uh, typically, we are, uh, use cotton type fabrics. And in this investigation, they're, investi they're looking at new types of material in these fabrics that are not only lighter in, in the weight aspect, which will, can reduce the, the up mass, but they're also uh, treated with uh, antimicrobial type of uh, mm. uh, uh, Some kind of substance treatment, yeah. treatment yeah. To, to prevent that um, bacteria growth. So we are trying to figure out how long can we have the crew members wear these clothes? Will it last a lot longer than their cotton counterparts? And by virtue of the crew member being able to wear it longer, and it being lighter, it'll save up mass that it will allow us to bring other cargo. Uh, but it will also, um, by not having the cotton uh, fabric, um, may also reduce maintenance on station oh. because of all the filters uh, that, that get clogged up with the materials. So we're looking at several benefits. Uh, and, and of course, some of the applications could be down here on Earth. Uh, you, we might be able to, to have that for areas with remo remote locations where laundry is not as mm. uh, Speaking of up mass, the Cygnus vehicle is carrying a lot of different experiments that are 
uh, coming from students around the world. What kind of things are they are these experiments looking into? It's really fascinating to look at some of the uh, descriptions of the students' uh, hypotheses that they've come up with. Uh, the, the range is, is wide in variety. You have uh, anywhere from radiation uh, investigations to uh, growth of different kinds of plants, uh, impacts on, on even a, a jellyfish type of investigation where they're, they're looking at um, whether or not growing in space could affect the ability of the, the jellyfish to um, essentially know which way to go. Mm -hmm. It's a navigation kind of system as part of the, the vestibular system. Right. Uh, in the, uh, anyhow, um, just, just a way, really, really wide variety. Uh, those are just some of the examples that come to mind. And, that's, and, and these are a lot, a lot of them being coordinated uh, through a private company that's helping to arrange the flight of all of these. Exactly. Cases. Uh, I'm sorry. Anorax. Uh, excuse me. Is um, is a company that's bringing a lot of these. We we're bringing two types of experiments on Orb2. Uh, one of them are coming in the Anorax modules, if you would, that will be connected uh, to the platforms on station and being will be run that way. And then the other set are uh, run through mix sticks, where where the crew crew will essentially activate them by uh, engaging the mm. the mix stick and, and breaking it through and having those contents mix. Beyond the things that are on Cygnus, what are the? Uh, give me two of the other things that we should be looking forward to in the the rest of Expedition 40. Well, we definitely have uh, another education-focused uh, activity coming up with Spheres Zero Robotic. Uh, this is a competition that is held uh, annually with uh, uh, students from all over uh, the world, and MIT coordinates that. And the, the Spheres facility, which we've already seen a couple of other investigations. Uh, being used for that uh, will will host uh, host this uh, zero robotics competition, mm -hmm. and I think that'll be very exciting to see that. Uh, we're also continuing all of the the BAS uh, combustion experiments uh, in in a counterpart investigation called Flex2 uh, that also looks at uh, combustion and and trying to understand how to make better fuels uh, out of those. So a lot of that um, I did want to mention. We also have the Types of investigations that you, you don't see actively uh, perform the human body. Uh, there's a variety of investigations that uh, are coming up where we only take data from the crew members uh, before they fly and after uh, they mm -hmm. return. And uh, they'll be, they'll be uh, investigating some of those. Uh, and it's interesting because you don't see that happening. And we often forget to mention it. We don't have an activity. We don't have anything that you can directly but correlate to it's another to example of the crew members being experiment subjects, even though they're not doing something specific to that experiment during the time they're up there. Exactly. Finding out how they're impacted. Exactly. We're all looking forward to seeing what comes next. Thanks very much. Yuri Gnart-Ramirez is the uh, Expedition 40 Lead Increment Scientist.